Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. It feels so good to say that. Oh my god. Okay, you guys, so obviously you guys know it's been forever since I've done a video and you know it just feels so good to be back. Um last week you guys I was so sick. Like I have never been more sick before in my life and it just feels so good. I'm still sick though, like it's not as bad as last week though. Like I'm still a little congested, but I feel ten times better, but you know, it's almost there, so I'm glad. And also, I want to give a shout-out to my brother, Armando, my little baby. He made a video um, to tell you guys about me being sick. He was so cute and so nervous to film, so I thought that was really, really cool. So thank you, baby, so much for recording it, and uh, just thank you guys for being patient with me. And, uh, yeah, so let's just, let's just get started. I'm so excited to be back. So, uh, I'm gonna do a product regret video because all y'all have been asking me to do these product regret videos. So, I just said, fuck it. Okay. So, starting off, um, one of the products I'm gonna talk about is by a company. It's a lip gloss by Artistry. So, it looks like this. And then, does it look like Gerard, you guys? Like, I literally thought this was gonna be a dupe for Gerard because, look. There's a mirror right there, and oh, you guys almost saw. But there's a mirror right there, and here's the big part. There's a fucking light. There's a fucking light. I literally thought this was gonna be a do for Gerard Cosmetics, you guys, but no, no, double chin realness, no. This shit was horrible, you guys. So again, so as you can see, this is what the outcomeer looks like. But look, like. Like, I can't even see through the fucking light. There we go! It's like a fucking CIA shit. Oh, where's the evidence? Boom! There it is! I really need to get a boyfriend. <laughs> but you guys, um, I'm gonna start by saying um, that this product is absolutely horrible. I hate the stickiness of it. It did not last long, like, at all. Like, it only lasted for, like, an hour, and it felt so sticky on the lips. It kind of reminded me of the Victoria's Secret lip glosses, which are just death. So, artistry lip gloss. Go fuck yourself. Next is another product by Maybelline New York and it's Baby Lips. Everyone knows about this stuff. So, oh my God, I fucking love the way this one smells. It smells like the inner, oh, the, the inner dark girl in me is coming out. It smells like Fruit Loops. But <laughs> this is something that I wouldn't eat because it's disgusting. Like seriously, the EOS ball, that is bomb.com. The EOS ball, that's Jesus. Uh, this shit is Moses or or the devil, or whatever the fuck, I, I don't know. But either way, this product sucked. Now, I have dry lips in the EOS ball that keeps my lips moisturized, and I didn't have it, so I bought this. I honestly thought that it would work. It did it. It, it did it. It was absolutely horrible. I hate the way that it looked. It was just not my cup of tea. I hope I broke it because I'm gonna kill myself. Actually, I don't like the way it looks. Okay. Next product are two by e.l.f. And let me say something, I love e.l.f. I adore e.l.f. I absolutely love e.l.f. Just not these two. So, one of them is the, um, what's this shit called? What's this, what's this called? Oh, the, the e.l.f. Um, black pencil. So, uh, I did a video on this, and, um, go ahead and check out the video. I'll probably leave the link down below, but, um, I just don't like this, like, go fuck yourself, no thank you, but this is the real, um, review, so, here it is, this is the e.l.f. matte lip color, which looks like this, which looks like that, and I heard a lot of good things about this, like, from a bunch of YouTubers and also Modemob, and I've been really wanting to try it, and I think it's really, really cool because at the back, there's a sharpener for your um, lipstick, which is really, really cool, actually. Like, i never seen that. And this only costs three bucks. Like, you know, and I got food for less when I was getting my hot fries. So, <laughs> I wanted to get this. So, this is what it looks like. Boom. Now, you guys already know why I don't like the product. Okay, look. So, it winds up, it winds down, winds up, it winds down. And it kind of looks like a jumble pencil. But this is the real that I don't like it. Are you guys ready? What is this shit? What is this shit? Like, I literally took out all the product, you guys. And look, when I put it back in, look at that. It does it. So this shit easily, like, com comes off. Look at that. Oh, my God. No, thank you. 
And also, you guys, this retails as a matte lipstick. It is not matte. Honestly, guys, this is more of a sheen. And they say this is long-lasting. This shit only lasts me like an hour. Like, I'm not even kidding you. So, the e.l.f. matte lip color, it, it's, it's a bust. I mean, like, if you are not that big fan of lipsticks or not big of a makeup junkie, and if you just want something quick on your lips, then, yeah, I would recommend this. Like, there's, like, a nude color and things like that. So, I mean, if you like that. But for me, not worth it. Next is a product I fucking hate. So, as you can see, I'm really calm. So, I'm gonna talk about a shampoo that damaged the fuck out of my hair. So, if you were, so if you rolled with me back then, you know, you know that I always used to wear beanies and things like that because a shampoo, you know, just you know, decided just to damage my hair. And here it is. It's the Garnier Fruitique Sleek and Shine. It's for um, frizzy, dry, and unmanageable hair. I fucking hate this shit, bitch. Die. I hate this fucking shampoo. I love Garnier. I love Garnier. Just not this. You guys, this shit damaged my hair. Like, when I first started using it, I had dandruff. I had so much dry spots on my hair. And on top of that, I was shedding. Like, I know everyone shuts my bits. This is shedding. Shedding. Look, I hate it so much that the fucking top came off. That's how much I hate it. Girl, like, I was washing my hair once, and then I went like this, and then a whole thing of hair came off of my fucking head. I was so scared for my life. Like, I literally thought that I was going to go bald. But luckily, I switched shampoos. I used the head and shoulders, um... Shampoo, I did a video on it on my last, last favorites, which I haven't done a favorite in such a long time, but I, I used that now and it saved my life. But this, you guys, don't get it. Do not get it. it go fuck yourself. And I love Garnier, just like that. Next, last, but very least, is NARS. This is NARS Blush in the color Super Orgasm. Everyone has been raving about NARS Blush Orgasm, and this is Super Orgasm, and I fucking hate it. Like, seriously, you guys... They're, they have so much, um, I can't even describe, like, it has, like, all those glittery pebbles in there. And if you have big pores like me, it will, whoa, like, show that shit, like, I, I can't even describe it, you guys. Like, this thing, and plus it was really, really chalky, and, like, it didn't feel comfortable. So, you know, it was a waste of 30 bucks. Like, seriously, you guys, like, I could have gone to NYX and get, like, a $2 blush, like, to be honest. But this, I ain't fucking with it. Ain't fucking with it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. So, uh, feels so good to be back. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please follow me on Snapchat and on Instagram. I'll leave everything down below. Please subscribe, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. It feels so good to be back. Bye.